Um, it's a common practice, especially amongst the Sufis, that um, uh, when a person has passed away, they hold uh, uh, certain days, for example, the third day after the deceased has passed away, or the 40th, where they'll hold khatams, uh, give food, uh, recite Quran, and give Isal Iswab to the deceased. Is this permissible? Um, it's, it's very well known, so uh, reading uh, Quran and sending its reward to the dead people, that is causing very big frictions. So, um, uh, and uh, from, from my own understanding, there is no any single prohibition. Okay, some people say Quran is not to be sent to the dead people. I, I, I agree with it. But in the same time, when you read Quran, Allah rewards you and you are free to do with your rewards whatever you want. Okay, so um, as well as majority of the scholars say, most likely its reward will reach. Okay, um, and uh, in terms of uh, making it in some specific days, uh, uh, some of the scholars or big number of the scholars say it is bid'ah. Why? because it is imitating the Christians, because they do have this concept of 40 days and 50 days and etc. Well, I say, look, um, in terms of if each single imitating of Christians um, are prohibited, so then do not believe in God, because Christians believe in God, okay? As well as Jews believe uh, in the prophets. So you do not believe in pro prophets, okay? As well as they believe in the books. So do not imitate them and uh, say there is no God, no prophets, no messengers, no nothing. Do not imitate them. Okay? So it does not make sense. Okay? As well as this principle of imitating disbelievers, it's not something that each single person can apply wherever and whenever he wants. It, 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 this principle belongs to the Usuli scholars, so they will decide where to apply and when to apply. Okay? And on top of that, in Hanbali Madhab, they have some practice. It is in their official Madhab. Um, obviously, they take it from Tawus ibn Kaysan. Okay, al So, Tawus ibn Kaysan is one of the students of Abdullah ibn Abbas. So, he's Tabai. So, Tawus says that after the death, after the burial, for the next seven days, uh, uh, that person will be questioned. So, that's why it is recommended for the people to do good, sending reward and making recitations and making duas on behalf of that person. So. Uh, Hanbalis took this statement of uh, Tawus bin Kaysan and they said after the death, after the burial, for the next seven days it is recommended for the relatives of the dead person to make dua for the dead person. Okay? And as you know, uh, Hanbali, uh, Ahmad ibn Hanbal is very strict okay, in time. So for him is also nearly everything is be done. Okay? So that's why if it would smell, if, if it would have some type of smell, then Ahmad would never go with this uh, fatawa. Okay, so um, in my own understanding, there is nothing wrong with it. There is no any prohibition, inshallah.